5,000 cars travel the two-lane road through a Baltimore County subdivision every day, and neighbors say they're shocked at the number of accidents and close calls. The recent deaths of two people have ignited a call to action in the Timonium community. WJC investigator Mike Kelgman is live at the scene with what neighbors want. Mike. Vic, some of them want part of this road closed down and traffic diverted, but because the county says it's considered what's called a collector road that brings in a lot of cars from side streets, they're not going to do that. They tell us they're committed to some sort of action after the deaths of Deborah Limmer and Delaney Gaddis. You can see the makeshift memorial here. It's a tragedy that has touched so many in this community. It's a very awkward design. Joe Hartnett is pushing for safety improvements on busy Girdwood Road in front of the home in Timonium where he's lived for the past decade. He heard the screams and ran to help two weeks ago when police say a drunk driver killed Deborah Limmer and her five-year-old granddaughter, Delaney Gaddis, while they were on a morning walk. My life has changed forever. My family's life has changed forever. Um, it'll never be the same. Every time I walk outside my front door, I have that image in my head. The driver, Carrie Schwartzman, was still on probation for driving drunk last year. According to court records, she skipped her trial for a recent hit and run and was under a court order not to drink. Brian Gaddis is the young victim's father and a Baltimore County cop. Yeah, I could never imagine what people went through until I went through it, and I, just my heart goes out to them. Hartnett notes other accidents here, some caused by speeders and inattentive drivers, nine nearby in the past year. They are being heard. Keith Link is in charge of traffic calming in Baltimore County. He points out the speed bumps that are in place, but says putting back the stop signs that used to be here doesn't make sense. For pedestrians, they see a car coming, they assume it's going to stop and then could step out in traffic and get hit. That's why federal requirements don't allow stop signs to be installed for speed control. WJZ noticed a mobile warning sign to get drivers to slow down was not even working today. And the crosswalk is crumbling. Hartnett believes the county can do better. My children don't even have the ability to walk to school, you know, and that's, that's they, they live in fear, and we all live in fear. The county notes that over the past decade, the average speed in this area has gone down from about 35 miles an hour to 28. But those who live here say it's still not enough if they're continuing to see accidents. And that meeting is going to take place at 7 o'clock tonight at Pot Spring Elementary. Reporting live in Baltimore County, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. The county put in devices to reduce speeds in 2005 and again in 2010.